Hi, Max Roth here. That plane that was taking off from Salt Lake City International here was loaded with enough fuel to go the 5,000 miles to Amsterdam. But it was just about 250 miles into this flight that something happened. A Delta Flight 56. A safe touchdown in Minneapolis, St. Paul, captured by live stream from aviation site MSP Live. Our truck's now rolling. Emergency vehicles waiting, informed that several passengers suffered injuries in what the pilot reported as extreme turbulence. That turbulence, 37,000 feet over Wyoming. If you've flown, you've experienced turbulence, but how can it get this bad? I asked Fox 13 meteorologist Maddie Baggett. What is turbulence? Basically, turbulence is a disruption in the smooth airflow. Planes like to fly at a smooth, consistent altitude, and whenever we have that differentiation in temperatures and height, that causes the planes to go this. How do those things interact? I, you know, what, 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 what's happening up there in the sky? Yeah, we don't have exact details about this particular incident because it's still under investigation, but what we can understand it as, potentially as being convective, turbulence. It's based off of rising warm air and sinking cool air. And whenever that happens at those higher levels, we have these vertical columns of air, warm air, and these cooler pockets of air. And that is what creates all of that tension in the sky. Is one of those pockets less dense? Yeah, so that warmer air is going to be less dense. And so I am imagining that uh you, you know, you're flying along and you can't see it, but there's a there's like a column of mm -hmm. warmer air. Yeah. And all of a sudden you hit that and that's less dense and yeah. boom. D does climate change impact what's happening up there in the jet stream? I think 100%. So climate is the history of weather, right? So we need years and years of data to prove anything. Mm -hmm. But what climate change is doing, it's warming the surface. Mm -hmm. And that can impact the higher levels because it creates those thermals more often within the jet stream. So thermals are just those rising columns of hot air. Well, what I think I understand is it almost just makes the impact of those lower elevations stronger because 100%. it's hotter. Yes. Maddie told me that mountains can also contribute to turbulence. And if you have driven between Evanston and Rollins, Wyoming, you know that that is a wind tunnel on the ground, let alone at 37,000 feet. In Salt Lake City, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.